Good morning, Miss Tina. I'm sitting here in somebody's rocker. I you know, know who usually sits in these rockers? Yes. Miss Pat and Miss Burnell sit in these rockers. Yes, they do. Every week. Absolutely. They come. They do. They love their babies and they miss them so much. Well, you know who else likes to come and rock babies? I bet Miss Jean. Jean. <laughs> Miss Jean would be sitting in this other rocker, yeah. rocking her baby. And she's recovering from uh, having surgery on her shoulder. Shoulder surgery, that's right. And you know who else? Oh, Miss Joanna at our check-in desk had yeah. shoulder surgery those, too. We could pray for those ladies. We do need we? to pray for those ladies this week. Yes, and maybe the boys and girls could pray for yeah. them too. Well, you know. There's some other people that check in our kids, too. And check in our babies. They do. They check in our babies. And they're missing those babies. Miss yes. Megan, Joanna, Miss Joanna's daughter, misses seeing all those babies. Yes. And she always brings her teenagers. Yes, she does. Yes, and she lots does. of help that they Corey love those kiddos. Corey and Kelsey, they're always right there helping. And then there's the Martin family. The entire family That's comes right. and plays with the babies and puts them in their classrooms. We miss all those I babies know. and all those people that love our babies. I know. I do too. If they were here today, they'd be teaching them the story of Lazarus. That's our story for today. That is our story for today. Do you know what the word Lazarus means? No. What does Lazarus mean? It means God has helped. And you know, during this time that we're staying yeah. in, that is a good thing to remember. It is to remember that He has helped us. He's helping yes. us every day. Yes, He is. Even when we're staying home, He's there with mm -hmm. us, helping us. He is. All right. Well, let's go see what's next. Let's go see if Mr. Greg's got some songs we can oh, sing. That would be so much fun. Let's go sing. Let's do that. Hey kids, we know that our Lord and God is a strong tower, and we're going to sing that song because if we go to him and we call out his name, he will protect us no matter what. So you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. The name, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it. And they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are safe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just run into it, and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they are safe. Glory to the name of the Lord.
Miss Nicole. Hey, Mr. Greg. Hey, uh, I, I have a song and it's about, it has a verse in it that says, I love my Christian family. Oh, and I saw yes. Mr. David Ingram's thing when he left and he called us all family. And, and we are. And we miss him, but we, we love him. So I love our family. So, so here's the song right here. Okay. It's got some clapping and some snapping. Try to follow along and see what you can do. Here we go. Here we go. I love the Lord Jehovah deep down in my heart. I love the Lord Jehovah deep down in my heart. Say deep, deep, say down, down, say deep down in my heart. Oh yeah, deep, deep, say down, down, deep down in my heart. Oh, I love the Lord Messiah deep down in my heart. I love the Lord Messiah deep down in my heart. Say deep, deep, say down, down, say deep. Oh yeah, deep, deep, say down, down, deep down in my heart. Oh, I love to sing his praises deep down in my heart. I love to sing his praises deep down in my heart. Say deep, deep, say down, down, say deep down in my heart. Oh yeah, deep, deep, say down, down, say deep down in my heart. I love my Christian family deep down in my heart. I love my Christian family deep down in my heart. Say deep, deep, say down, down, say deep down in my heart. Oh yeah, deep, deep, say down, down, say deep down in my heart. Love you, Northside. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha. Here you go who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, I don't know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Ah, uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus' grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, 
Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here. So they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. to go away very, very soon and to help my Northside family keep safe. Most of all, please help us spend more time praying to you. Amen. I pray that our church shows the love of Jesus by helping those in need and that we don't get discouraged by being in quarantine. Jesus name, amen. My hope is in the Lord. I belong to him. Miss Coco? Yes, ma'am. Do you know what time it is? It's birthday yes, it time! Is. Wait, did you say birthdays? We yes, did. I love birthdays. It's time for our April birthdays. April birthdays? Man, it's clicking by really fast. Yes, it is. And all the kids that have April birthdays? Is it your birthday? No, no that was last month. No. Is it your birthday? No, not yet. What's your birthday? Mine's November. November. That's right. So, so I have all the kids with April birthdays. That's Happy right. birthday. Birthdays. Yes, yes. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I had a thought. Right. Last time, we talked about a verse. Yes, we did. And I looked it up. I got Bible Worm to look it up because he was listening. Ah, and he told me it was in Luke. Good. Correct. And it was chapter 2, uh -huh. verse 52. Yeah. Now, good. I know where Luke is because I go, because I've been studying my books of the Bible. Oh, I'm proud of you, David. And it's Matthew, Mark, Luke. Very good. John. And that is right there between Mark and John. That's right. So Luke. Luke 2, 52. What's it say? It says. Uh, and oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jesus <laughs> grew in wisdom and stature and favor. Of, in favor with God and man. That's very good. You know, That's and that was, that was what we were trying to remember the other day. That's right. That's our blessing. Last birthday. That's the blessing for the children when they have their birthdays. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, it's for the children. That's well, right. Well, let me, let me say it to the children. Well, okay. Let me ask you, though. Do you know why we say it to the children? Yes. Who was the verse talking about when, when it was written? Who was oh, the oh, 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 oh. It was Jesus that's when right. he was a kid. That's, that's and exactly he went back right. to the temple and he was talking to the to the priest, that's to, the, right. to the Pharisees. Okay, now let's do a blessing for the kids. You okay. Do. And, 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 we want and all, all you kids with the birthdays. That's right. We want them to grow in. And you grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. That's right. And woman. 
Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job, David. David. And I hope they do and grow in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. Yes, that's our prayer for all the mm -hmm. boys and girls. How about singing happy birthday to Okay. Me? I am happy, 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 happy. That's the wrong happy song, Diggity. That's a good, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's wrong. Happy. That's a wrong song. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I know which one. Okay, okay. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, you kids in April. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thanks for helping. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye, Bye. See you later. I like your crown. Oh, thank you. Is that funny? That's a paper airplane. Can I do it back? One, two, three. Whoa. Yay. <laughs> hey, friends. We've been asking you to do things for other people for the last few weeks. This week, we're going to do things a little different. We know you're at home, but we want you to remember that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much, and he gives us hope. Now, the video you just watched was the Rogers family, and they were laughing, and they found a way to have fun, even though they're stuck at home. So this week, we want you to make a list. Work with mom and dad if you need to, to make a list of the things that make you smile and that remind you that Jesus gives you hope. We love you, and we can't wait to see you soon. Everywhere